As we go into another work from home week here, a new survey revealing millions of people are working under conditions that they consider Scott to not be ideal. Yeah, so if you're having trouble getting your job done because you have unreliable internet uh, service, maybe a bad cell signal, you're certainly not alone. Even Olivia was saying something about that. <laughs> so three in your size, Susan Campbell has more on the new details. Hey, Susan. Good morning, guys. Yeah, of course, there's absolutely nothing more frustrating when you're working from home than being on an important video conference and not being able to chat or having your connection drop or even losing that cell phone signal. It's actually happening to me right now. It looks like it's a poor connection on my screen. I hope it's still coming through uh, for you guys. But according to a new survey, millions of people new to working at home say they're struggling with internet or cell signal issues. This survey was done by Waveform, a company that sells cell signal boosters. The CEO tells me soon after stay-at-home orders were issued, his company saw a huge spike in sales. He says last week they sold three times more product than they do in a typical week. He says it's not surprising when you consider the results of their survey. This is a historic change, right? Like for this many people all of a sudden to be working from home. And about 15% of people said they were having issues with internet connectivity every day. And 12.5% said they were having had bad or very bad cell signal. So that means over 10 million people in the US are struggling with data and cell phone connectivity issues every single day while they're trying to work from home. It's a huge, huge problem. Waveform didn't just ask about internet and cell connections. They also asked about productivity. 25% of people said they're actually more productive, but 34% admitted they're less productive working at home. Nothing is going to slow you down more than if you're trying to open up your company tools, your internal portals, and the web slow or things are breaking just because your connectivity isn't, isn't reliable. So I think from a productivity standpoint, it's huge. You know, despite some of the challenges, about half of people say after the coronavirus pandemic is over, they wish that they could continue to work from home. Guys, uh, again, I am. what are the chances that I would go right into a poor connection right as I'm going live with you? I hope that this has been an okay. No, we got you. You're good. You're, yeah, you're, good. you're driving the message so, home, right, of so, what we're all struggling with. So, it's real. So I wanted to ask, Absolutely. Uh, you, I wanted to ask you, too, because you've both uh, been working at home. Uh, were you more or less productive, and did you like it? Ooh, that's a tough one. What do you think, Susan? You're more experienced. So I was productive, but it took me a lot longer to get the job done. You know, those typical tasks that take five or 10 minutes sometimes when you're sitting at your desk and you know exactly where everything is, all of a sudden it's a 20 minute process or like, like what's happening right now, you get booted offline, you have to spend some time logging back in. So it just makes the workday maybe a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah, agreed. There's a lot of uh, stuff that has to happen behind the scenes for you to have the content, especially um, to be able to present. So it made the workday a little bit longer um, and, and definitely a little challenging because it was new to me. But I, I could see being a little smoother next go yeah, around. Well, I got I got yeah. to say, it, you both look good from home. I mean, you don't notice any problems or anything. So technology, maybe Very the wave of, of the future. <laughs> Absolutely. Good to see you, Susan.